Hello and welcome back to Tropicana or hello and welcome if you are new. Today we are doing a resident services speed build. So we are finally tackling the big mother of the island and we're going to give it some pizzazz. We're going to give it some life, try and make it kind of swampy because if you don't know, my theme of my island is Swamp Core. Um, yeah, look, it is Swamp Core, but I'm also falling out of love with it. I don't know what happens. I get to this point where my island is almost done, and then I'm like, nope, I'm over it. I'm ready to change my theme, and I'm ready to just do something else. And then I never see the completed island that I've put so much work into it. So we're not going to let that happen this time even though I'm very excited for the next theme of this island. We've already done Cottage Core. We've already done, uh, oh, we attempted to do a lake island. Um, and now we've moved on to the swamp. And we're going to go something very, very different next time. Um, so ignore what is over in the back. That is coming later on. That is Tia and Moraine's little village area. But what I'm finding is because I'm out of love with the theme, I'm not figuring out how to make the areas I've done, um, what's the best way of saying it? I don't know how to make them to what I would like, my normal standard, I guess. So we will see if that happens today. Um, we'll see if I come out with something I actually like. I'm also struggling because my resident services is very, very, very close to my airport. Um, you might see it in here or if you've watched my Let's Play before or something, you've probably seen my airport is like diagonal from my resident services. And it's kind of really, really annoying um, because there's not a lot of room to do anything. So I'm kind of only half doing resident services today because I have this idea for my entrance and I just haven't done it yet. So that'll be maybe the next thing. I don't really know. But we're doing like the back half of resident services, I guess you could say. And that's also why you can half see that Tia and Merang, their little area is also half done because the front of that links to the resident services bit, but then it also joins to like the campsite and the farm area. And that's just a section I have not figured out yet because my mind is on this new theme that I really want to do. And yes. Anyway, how's everyone else going? That was my little tidbit about my theme. What's your theme for your island? Are you trying Swamp Core? It's actually quite difficult to do because this game is very, very cute, and um, swamp is not. A swamp is not cute, um, particularly when you have adorable villages like Tia over there. Oh. Yes. Uh, I also hate it when they wear... This just came to my mind after seeing Tia. She's dressed in her little 70s dress. I gave that to her once, uh, months and months and months and months ago. As, I don't know, just a random present, I think. This was before I knew that they uh, like to wear your present all the time. And she never takes it off. And she looks cute in it. But also I'm like, mm, would prefer you to wear your normal clothes you're in. Rather than this little groovy. But she suits it, so I mean it's fine. But, yes. So, now I'm... What I'm doing here is I'm just playing around with decorating, trying to make it very full as I do. Uh, yeah, there's not much to it. Just sticking some fossils in there because in my mind, a swamp is like, <laughs> I don't know, a good place to find fossils. I feel like you would find a lot of bad stuff at a swamp and we're trying to keep that going here. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, love the new update where you um, can have a whole new 50 slots. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, 
yeah, I was running out of ideas of what to do because all of my things required new designs that I didn't have the spots for. But now we do. And that's going to make the next island a lot easier to do. But we're going to... We're going to continue with Swamp Core until it is done. It's going to happen. We're going to stay and we're going to finish an island. Yeah. That's the plan. We're going to finish this island. Also, I just thought I would try out the, um, what do you call this? The little festival lamp. I wasn't sure if I would like it. I thought it would be a lot bigger, but it's actually really cute. So I'm not mad about keeping it and actually using the other one or the other few I have actually. I got a lot of stuff from Festival because I was trying to get all the balloons <laughs> for Flurry and Judy's little um, hot air balloon festival that they live next to. So I hate the restrictions on water. I really do. The trees, they just make it such a pain to do anything but that's okay we can live with that Just sticking a lot of random things around, really. All right, so this is the final look of the, I guess, half done resident services. I love the fact that it's like storming at night. This is, I reckon, once my island is done, this is how I will do the dream address with like a big old thunderstorm in the middle of the night in um, autumn. Yep, I reckon that with the dirty looking ground. Anyway. If you did enjoy this, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I do speed builds every Sunday and an island tour every Tuesday and then a random video throughout the week occasionally. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!